Hi guys, so Chiflote Flo recommended that I reacted to this one, Somosur, We Are the South, but don't get it twisted. It's, they're talking about South America, I believe, because, you know, Chile is, in, Chile is in the southern portion of South America, but don't get it twisted, it's one continent. It's not that South America is a continent by itself. And Mexico is in North America. I always have to say that because some people now want to put Mexico and say, oh no, Mexico belongs to Central America. No, it does. It's quit your politics. It's one continent. And the United States of America means the United States belongs to the American continent. But so does Canada, Mexico, Chile, Peru, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, etc., etc. They can all be called Canada of America. It could be Mexico of America. So just because the forefathers were not creative enough to come up with a name for a country that could be changed in a waterfall to an adjective doesn't mean that America is a country. America is a continent. Mm, very colorful, folkloric. Tú nos dices que debemos sentarnos, pero las ideas solo pueden levantarnos, caminar, correr, no rendirse ni retroceder, ver, aprender cómo esponja absorbe. Nadie sobre todos, faltan todos, suman todos para todos, todo para nosotros. Soñamos en grande que se caiga el imperio. Lo gritamos algo, no queda más remedio. Esto no es. Oh, 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 oh. What empire is she talking about? She's talking about us. She's talking about the United States. Hmm. Well, she started off saying, "You're telling us to sit down," but you know, our thoughts lift us up. Walk. You know, never stop. Never go back. Keep reaching, and we keep singing and pr praying for the empire to fall. Uh, Chile is not an empire, so. Hmm. Hmm, what empire is she talking about? Europe? We'll see. I have a feeling this is a song against the United States. Tú nos dices que debemos sentarnos, pero las ideas solo pueden levantarnos, caminar, correr, no rendirse ni retroceder, ver, aprender cómo esponja absorbe, nadie sobre todos. I like that. Ver, aprende cómo esponja absorbe, look, learn. Like a sponge, absorb bars, man. She is saying right there, we dream, we dream in big that the empire will fall. Oh Lord. <laughs> I like that this is not a utopia. This is uh, happiness. The happiness to come with the dance, with the f dance for freedom. Africa or Latin America is up for auction. I have a feeling she's talking about the United States. Está bueno esta vaina.
and she's not talking to me there. She said, "Oh, the quiet what?" Basically, the downloads. The I'm looking for the word. What's the word that we use? I'm black. I blanked out totally. But it's like the people from the hood, the people, the marginalized people, the people who are beaten by the system, the quiet ones. That's why I say she's not talking to me because I don't, I don't stay quiet. I don't shut up. my country too it is at the Dominican Republic okay so the down dogs uh, I'm looking it's not the down dog what do they call it people that are on the, the, the bottom so she's calling all these countries but she's also mentioning countries from uh, Africa the people the countries that have been affected by the Empire <laughs> It is the United States. But she mentioned Holland too, right? If I'm not mistaken, in France. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get out of here, Yankees. By the way, speaking about Yankees, the word gringo. One of the... I have read somewhere that the origin of the word gringo came from the uniform which ironically I'm wearing green today so the green they just to invade countries so they would say green go green go green go like green get out of here green go now it's ironic because in like I said before in Chile and Peru and South America they call green go anyone who's white and it's not born in their country or in South America. Like, yeah, they won't call an Argentinian who's white a gringo, but they'll call a Spanish, you know, a Spanish person a gringo. And I'm pretty sure Spanish, Spanish, and a British person a gringo. I'm pretty sure they will be a little bit upset to be like, Ooh. but let me not say when it. If it's, if it's true that the word green go came from, you know, the uniform green and then go get out of our country, then, you know, Spain and England can't say anything. They gotta be quiet. They might not have wore the same color, but the sentiment is the same. Now, again, in Chile and in the rest of South America, they call gringo anyone who's white and born outside of Latin America. Canadians are gringo too. Poor Canadians. Pobrecito, los Canadiens son buenos. Se han metido con nadie. Y detrás de México, yes, así me gusta. Y dijo Somalia, so Somalia, she mentioned it, Tanzania, so she's mentioning countries in Africa, the countries, yeah, from the continents that have been uh, screwed over the most by the United States and Europe. But, you know, it's true, I mean, come on, we have to accept the reality, I'm not. I used to be in the army, I'm a veteran. I don't get offended because the, the truth is the truth and I'm glad I wasn't born in those days so the small the, the short time that I spent in the army well we were invaded we were in Germany I was in Germany so yeah I was invaded in another country and guess what and with the uniform the American uniform I also heard Yankee go home I also heard them saying that to me and I was like, what, what can I do? I was in uniform and I was in their country. This is back in 1989, okay? 1989, 1993. And yes, we had the Gulf War, but I didn't have to go there because I was stationed in Berlin and they considered that priority. I was gonna say we didn't invade anything, but then we also had a conflict with Panama. What am I talking? We always have a conflict with everybody. 
That's why they hate us, man. That's why they hate us. Arabic. She's mentioning people there. I heard Matias. I gotta find out who Matias is. But she mentioned people there. She's mentioning these people and she's saying we're gonna we're gonna win. We're going to be we're gonna overcome. She's kicking us out. She's like, get out of here. We don't need you in our land. Oh, Lord. Eh, eh, denme le apoyo a esta vaina porque ustedes saben que esto me lo van a censurar. En caso de que no sepan, YouTube es americano y yo tengo seguidores gringos que se ofenden. No todos los americanos son así, quedemos claros. Ay, estadounidense, discúlpenme. No todos los estadounidenses son así. Hay estadounidenses que reconocen los, pro, los, pro, los problemas que este país ha causado en otros, en otros países. Los reconocemos y muchos de nosotros, per, o sea, nuestros padres pertenecen a esos países y sabemos las historias, ¿me entiende? Y vinieron aquí para poder progresar, para poder superarse. Y algunos nacimos aquí, otros nos criamos aquí y no pudimos hacer nada con respeto. ¿Me entiende? Tenemos un pie aquí y el otro allá. We know. Y no podemos hacer nada con, el res con respecto, porque nosotros votamos. Es mentira que la votación cambia algo. El único presidente que tuvimos que no invadió ni atacó fue Jimmy Carter. Y a ese nada más le dieron una sola, una sola vez en, el, en la presidencia. Y Bernie Sanders, que quisimos votar, lo que quisimos que subiera, hicieron trampas, se metieron, le pagaron a gente para que se salieran de la... Me, ¿Para qué no le voy a contar? La cuestión es que no vayan a pensar ustedes que nosotros no estamos conscientes y con esto incluye también a la gente de habla inglesa que no habla español que vive en Estados Unidos. No todos los que vivimos aquí, no todos los ciudadanos estamos contentos con las cosas que el gobierno de nosotros hace en otros países. Bueno, como dije, denme el apoyo. Que if you're an American and you stop by and you're an open-minded person, please give me some support. Because this is probably going to crash badly. Anyhow, 
I love it, you know, I love it, but I know my people, so. <laughs> if you got to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, leave a nice comment if you have something nice to say, and if you're coming over here and saying something negative, just let it be of South America, of Chile, Dominican Republic, or of myself, if you deny my nationality, or cuss my nationality, whatever way you, whatever, whichever way you go that is negative, I'm going to, you know, embrace you and block you. Have a good one. Bye.